So we're back at Bio Europe's spring session for 2016 here in Stockholm, Sweden. I'm Steen Stovall of Informa Pharma Insights. I'm an editor and writer for our publication, Script, The Pink Sheet, and In Vivo. And joining me here is Jacques Nestrom, the CEO of Pled Pharma here in Sweden. Welcome, Jacques. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I'd like to start off by uh, talking about uh, you're currently looking for possible licensees for your, your drug, uh, which uh, is uh, essentially going to prevent uh, a nerve damage for uh, cytotoxic therapy that's given to a uh, uh, colorectal uh, cancer patient. Is that right? That, that is, that's correct, yes. I mean, not, not only colorectal cancer patients, but I mean, that's, that's our first indication then. But we see that, I mean, see this, I mean, chemotherapy with peripheral is, is a huge problem for cancer patients, and it's the most common reason for, do, for this discontinuation of treatment then, and it can be a long-lasting, debilitating problem for, for, the, for the patients then. So, but as you know, colorectal cancer is the third largest form, uh, so that's where we're starting. And you just had talks with the FDA on that? Yes, we had, we had an end of phase two meeting, a constructive end of phase two meeting, end of uh, November last year, where we got clear guidance on on the continued path forward for our phase three studies then. How did that go? It was a constructive meeting and, and we're now in, in, in preparation to start our, our, our preparation for the phase three studies, but we're also looking for a partner and because I mean, for us, it's most important to get this uh, compound Pledox to the market, to the patients then, and for that, we, we need to find a, a, a development partner then. And you need the regulatory pathway identified as well. Right, but, but I mean, we had, we had a, a, a clear guidance from from the FDA on the regulatory pathway forward. Then. Well, that's that's very helpful. So you've also got other assets as well. Um, tell us about that. Yes, I mean we have we have two other assets in in or or entering into clinical development, and, and our our second asset is is, is allodotin for acetaminophen or or paracetamol induced acute liver failure. Then, and where we have a very interesting data in, in the preclinical there we're preparing to do a proof of concept study in, in man and that, that is aimed to start this year then and we also have a, a third program for uh, reperfusion injury PPO 99 after, after uh, acute myocardial infarction then where we've shown the proof of principle in the clinic and published those data and and, and we are I mean, prepared to out license that to, to partner that did interest in, in, in that asset then. but we're not doing any development on our own before a partner on, on that asset. Then. All right, I'm curious, where does PLED, if PLED Pharma, come from? Yeah, PLED is an acronym actually from the chemical class of compound. It stands for pyridoxal ethyl diamine. So, so this is. Uh, Rolls off the tongue. Yes, yes. And so, and, uh, so essentially, uh, with that, uh, what other areas are you pursuing uh, with, with, with uh, uh, that uh, science? And do you own the IP behind it? We own the IP, yes, and we've just got a because we, I mean, this was originally developed actually in, in, in the U.S. by a company called Salutar back in the late 80s and, as, and developed as an MRI contrast agent. And, uh, but we have chemically changed this, I mean, to Im improve its properties and even its safety profile. And now, now our, our drug is called Calmanga for the PR Pledox. And there we've just been granted a composition of matter patent in the U.S. until end 2032 then. So, so yes, we own the IP on our, on our own then. And, and our, the continued development is, of course, to go from colorectal cancer to other solid tumors and also to other chemotherapies. Then, because I mean, oxaliplatin is is one of the worst when it comes to, to chemotherapy and peripheral But there are also other sort of platins and, and taxanes that that uh, I mean that what the patients suffer from then to treat their cancers. With well, the a perfect scenario, what's your growth strategy then? Well, our, our growth strategy is, is, is to find a, a, a partner. And so, I mean, we're, we're a small virtual company. I mean, we've been dry, we're doing developing this to phase 2B web, sort of groundbreaking data. I mean, actually the first time anybody's shown a preventive treatment in, in a clinical meaningful way when it comes to CIPN then, and now we're looking for a partner to help us continue the development then. Anybody uh, showing, showing serious in, uh, interest? I know, this has been a very exciting meeting. We had sort of a, 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 a full schedule and, and I mean, we, I mean we, we said already after our end of phase 2 meeting with, with the FDA in, in, in uh, November, and we had the JP Morgan, so now we're, I mean, really ramp ramping up to speed now for. Okay, good luck with that, Sir Shock. Thank you very much.